Hi everyone, my name is Jilly, Ranger at Stinapa. We were sadly to inform you guys that we have a serious coral disease here on the island. It's called the Stony Coral Tissue Loss Disease. Well, let's find out what it is. Come with me. So let's ask one of my colleagues, biologist, Karen Eckridge. Hey Karen, do you have time for some questions? Sure, come on in. Hi you guys, I'm Karen, I'm a biologist with Stinapa. Skittle D is a new coral disease. Uh, it's short for stony coral tissue loss disease. So we call it Skittle D. And it was first reported in Florida in 2014, quite a while back, but it was devastating. Oh, so wow. it killed like, it affected like 30% of the reefs or more. Wow. And in some reefs, like 90% of the corals died. Um, and then it started spreading south. Um, so it's spread quite a bit now, and we've just now detected it in Bonaire. So it went down to St. Martin, Mexico, Eastern Caribbean, and over the years it keeps coming farther south. And now we've detected it in Bonaire. So I'm glad you're asking me about it. Yeah, so but how can we ID it then? Okay, so it's very difficult to ID. Okay. Um, it's not like most diseases because it affects so many different colonies like a lot of diseases will affect just a few different species but skittle d has affected over 20 20 percent of species um no i'm sorry over 20 species so it's affecting all different species and it kills them very quickly so to identify it what we look for so bleaching tends to be uniform. Okay. So bleaching, the coral's still alive, but it's slowly paling and it's pretty uniform and then it slowly gets whiter and whiter, but the coral itself is still alive. Okay. And then it'll turn all white. And then if it stays white for a long time, it'll start dying and then you see algae growing on it. We also have like white plague disease and it looks a lot like white plague disease in the beginning okay white plague disease will start on the edge of a colony and it turns very very white it'll kill the coral mm. and it slowly spreads uniformly oh. over the coral colony killing it and then you see algae growing on the dead parts okay so then the algae will going upwards at the end exactly okay so you have a little bit of algae and then the the parts that have been dead longer will have a lot of algae but it's uh, it spreads kind of slow depends sometimes white plague can also spread really fast so it's kind of hard to tell it from skittle d because skittle d will spread very fast but it tends to be uneven okay and it also tends to have multiple lesions throughout the colony uh -huh. um, and sometimes it'll start right in the middle right white plague usually starts on the edge and moves up Maybe it'll start on several edges, but Skittle D can be just all over the colony. So right now, you know, for us even, it's difficult because we'll see a coral and if it's just one edge and it's a little uneven, we're still not sure if it's Skittle D yeah. or white play. So actually the best thing to do is that Stinapa looks for those differences between the white plagues, but is it important for us to inform oh, yeah. when, it, when we see it? Definitely. We're okay. asking everybody to, when they see what they think is Skittle D, take a photograph, know the site, try to give really clear directions, the depth, how far from the buoy, north or south. Okay. And then what we can do to make sure to confirm whether it is Skittle D or not is we can then uh, revisit that site like once a week. And if it's Skittle D, it'll start spreading to other corals. It'll spread over the colony and it'll kill that colony within maybe six weeks. So a colony that took a hundred years to grow could die in six weeks. Wow, that um, sounds really intense. There's so another one, uh, parrotfish biting, damselfish biting. Yes. And it's, these parrotfish in Bonaire tend to really bite the tops of the colonies, mm -hmm. but you see these scrape marks. Uh -huh. Sometimes they'll kill the whole top of the coral and it's white, white, but you see these bite marks. That's not skittle deep, that's okay. parrotfish biting. So those, we have the bitings, yeah. we have bleaching events, and now we have skittle D as well. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> what is it that we can do as you know, yes. so divers. We've known that this disease is probably gonna hit. So we've been putting out press releases. We've been talking to dive shops. We've been asking people to disinfect their gear when they first come to Bonaire. Now we're asking people to disinfect their gear after every single dive. Okay. Because if it's at one site and you dive there and then you go somewhere else, you can spread the disease faster. Wow. Um, so to disinfect your gear, it's a little complicated. So any, 
any rough gear you're using, uh, which we don't use a lot of, you can disinfect in a 1% bleach solution. So one part bleach to 99% water. Okay. Um, soak it for 10 minutes um, and then rinse it in fresh water and then let it dry between dives if possible. But bleach is not so good for like regulators, wetsuits, VCDs. So yeah. what they suggest is Lysol, just a regular old household cleaning Lysol and, and a and disinfectant yeah you put let me see what did they recommend i think they say a six percent lysol solution you soak your gear for 10 minutes rinse it with fresh water and let it dry between dives and then things like regulator computers cameras yes they say to use antibiotic dish soap so i think what's recommended is five ounces per gallon and you rinse your gear let it soak for 20 minutes and then rinse it in fresh water and then let it dry. Sounds <laughs> so like it's a whole lot of rinsing. Intense. It's pretty intense, especially if you've been to a site, then you know there's disease. It's really important that we try to limit the spread of this disease. There's not, not a lot we can do because it's in the water, it's spreading. Um, we're hoping that all the measures that Stinapa and all the divers and all the dive shops do to try to help our corals be strong and resistant and resilient, we're hoping that this disease you know, if it hits, it hits, and then our corals either resist or they recover. Yeah. So that's what we're hoping, just keep doing everything we do to try to protect our corals, try to protect our reefs, be more vigilant than ever not to touch corals or let your gear touch corals because that's, it even spreads it faster. So be really careful when you're diving, especially now that we uh, suspect that we have skittle D. <laughs> Thank you, Kara, for your information. So guys, now we know what to do when you see Skittle Dean.